In today's video, we're opening the new Ruxin 2.0 Mystery Bag. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery pack opening and this one is the Ruxin 34 slash Sassy Auto collab for the mystery packs. We did this once before, it's like late last year and they did really well, you guys really liked them for the most part. And this time we've upgraded them a little bit, added a few new things, changed the price a little bit and we're gonna open up a few in this video. These packs are available while you're watching this video, just click the link down below. You can order them off of Sassy Auto's eBay store. They are available right now, so go check out the link if you guys wanna pick some up. And let's get into the preview of what you might get. But before that, our giveaway will be everything we pull out of these three mystery packs. I have the examples of the purple, silver, and red that will be opening up today. No gold because there's only a few of those out there and they really just have like a really awesome single in them. So I don't want to like open that up and just, you get you get what's in there. So before we actually get into the details of the mystery pack 2.0, we need to talk about mystery packs. Mystery packs are not always guaranteed value. So these are going to be $49.99. So you're not always going to get $49.99. Most of the time, probably not anyway. And then a lot of people are going to get like double or triple, you know, they're going to get the red, they're going to get like Pharaoh servant pack or something like that. And that's going to be worth way more than the pack. Or you're going to get purple and you're going to have like, you know, not a great mystery pack or whatever. And you're going to lose a little bit of money i want you guys to keep that in mind because you can't have a mystery pack where the floor is the same price as the value it just doesn't work out for the people making them but we want to make them as valuable as possible so we added a bunch of really cool stuff to hopefully add some value to you as a fan of me and hopefully it works out so you're happy with what you purchased but i wanted to get that you know in here so that people aren't buying expecting that you know pull like you know i bought a 50 dollar pack i pulled 75 every single time because that's not how it works i want to remind you guys of that only buy this if you're really excited about it and you just want to you know potentially pull something awesome but maybe not keep that in mind so we have the 2.0 we're going to talk about what's inside so here on the back we have a little graphic here so the Megri mystery pack 2.0 so we have both me and sassy auto uh includes six modern era booster packs so here's some of the modern era you can get you can ghost from the past battles of legend crystal revenge a lot of awesome starlights in there so that's pretty cool darkwing blast we know that's a great set at the moment uh amazing defenders we were calling that atrocious defenders but it's getting better because the pearly stuff's getting really expensive at this point so it's actually not that bad anymore and then photon hypernova so really a pretty good variety here like the worst one's amazing defenders and that one's not even as bad as it used to be so those are some of the packs you can get in there i don't know really all the options there's obviously going to be more than that because it includes six modern era packs but there's probably some other ones in there but those are some of the good ones right there then on the purple so we have a couple of uh errors on like the pack so we have code of the duelist on here that is actually not in here but for some reason it's on the graphic so that's not in here some other things you can get so the minimum guarantee like if you buy and you get the worst mystery pack which is the purple color then you're actually going to get one of these as your extra or there's probably a couple other ones but no code of the duelist uh eternity code's pretty good we've got the battles of legend arm again so you can pull the 10k dragon we've got uh what is this flames of destruction you could get the original imperm you could get the ghost bell and haunted mansion so that's some stuff you could get in the purple this is like if you buy you don't get a silver red or gold you're gonna get a purple and you'll get one of those packs as your bonus pack which are all pretty solid packs the next one we have another error so we have circuit break this one is actually supposed to be here so i guess this circuit break should be where the code of the duelist is it's not in silver so you're not going to get a one in five silver pack and pull a circuit break that would be a little weird so we, we fixed that so that's supposed to be over here dual alliance is in here we've got extreme victory and then we've got a photon shockwave so pretty cool variety there you can get like tour guide out of here this one has ghosts and ulties it's a very classic pack really strong for like the original meta when it came out then of course the photon shockwave with the ghost or galaxy eyes is pretty amazing so that's one in five like a 2010 to 2015 booster pack there could be others in there but those are the ones we've displayed then we get to the red where all the really high end you know you got like first ed flaming eternity which has like the original sacred phoenix ultimate rare cyber in dragon could be pulled out of a cybernetic revolution that's a hobby pack by the way so that's pretty insane if you pull a cyber in dragon out of one of these then you're i mean you're, you're making like 20 times your money or so maybe more than that then a pharaoh servant as we mentioned and then raging battle first edition you can get that ghost rare so pretty crazy stuff in the red pack it's only one in ten too so it's not like crazy hard to pull but you know pretty cool stuff so if you do pull one of these you're definitely making your 50 bucks back and then finally one in a hundred so these are really rare like these are a lot harder to pull than the red vintage cars inside some of the vintage cards include a 10,000 dragon so it's like a $1,400 card there's also a DDS Exodia so there's stuff like that inside there's some really really quality stuff out of those uh there's not a lot of these out there because we didn't make a ton of packs so one out of 100 means there's not that many of them so if you do get that you are extremely lucky so that's the mystery pack but there's also a few other things included so last time we did random new booster boxes so you might get a redemption code for the newest booster box from a core set those are still included so you may or may not get a booster box worth your entire value so if you get a booster box these are 50 bucks if you get a booster box 
box is worth at least 50 bucks so you just made your money back so those are a good way for you to actually make your money back we wanted to throw a bunch of those in there so a lot of you guys you know spend the money and then get a booster box even if you don't pull anything great also i'm doing a signed card with every single order so that means if you order one of these uh you will get a signed card if you order one or if you order five you're gonna get one signed card so it's not like you get like five if you get five you just get one but i signed a bunch of cards for this so that you guys would all get one so hopefully you enjoy that that's just a cool little thing if you're a fan of me and uh just a little added value to this that we were able to do without like you know putting extra packs in there and stuff. Then we've added two new things. Well, that was, I guess was new too, but we have two other new things. First of all, I have a dual redemption code. So if you want to duel me on my stream, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34, you could pull one in here and then you just get that and you can say, hey Ruxin, I want to duel you. I got one of these cards in the mystery pack. When can we do it? We can schedule it. I can also do it. It says on there like on, on my stream, but I'm also, if we meet up at a YCS and you have that card on you, I'll duel you. We'll do something live. We can even do that if you want to do something like that. So we have thrown those in there. There's a bunch of those i think it's like 25 or 50 of them i don't remember how it is and one more thing one lucky winner out of here will get to compete on guess that price so there is a guess that price entry so you get to be the person with me guessing the prices if you guys get this out of the mystery pack so we've added a few new things that you could pull guess that price being one of them and if you get it and you want to do it hit me up email me or whatever and we'll schedule a time that we can both make it happen and it'll be really cool because we'll have a viewer doing the actual game all right we've talked long enough let's Let's look into these things and let's see what we can get. This, I believe, is a purple version of a mystery pack. So in here, the purple stuff, we can get the purple pack. He sent me the example so we can just kind of see what everything looks like. So as you can see, purple, pretty obvious. And inside we have some packs like Maze of Memories. We have Maze of Memories at the front. We have Dawn of Majesty First Edition. We have Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. Darkwing Blast goes from the past too. So there's one and two in here and then Maximum Gold El Dorado. So out of here, we've got a pretty decent variety. So like these are really great. These are kind of like middle. These are not that awesome. So that's what that's what I would put right here. This one's middle. This one, Dawn of Majesty has a Stardust chance. So I would maybe like put it more towards the middle. Duels from the Deep is definitely the least interesting. So we'll start with that. But it still could include a Ghost Rare. It also has Forbidden Droplets. So it's not like the worst set ever. So like even if it's, you know, not awesome, at least has the potential to pull some cool cards. So that one did not have a foil inside. Here we go. Let's go Dawn of Majesty. Let's see what we can get out of this purple pack. Not really purple pack, but the pack with purple in it, I should say. What if we got of stardust and gave it away how cool would that be branded bond gusto gunkin jar of generosity two toads slower swallow we got the tailwind of gusto and a stall turn very very cool all right maze of memories let's go we have uh branded utopia oh whoa we, whoa wait what was that a euro pack or something the super was second to the front that was that was weird i don't know what happened there all right maximum gold el dorado here we go Let's pull something epic. Gold rare. Let's see if we can get that access code. That'd be pretty sick. Danger Nessie. That's not bad. We have a Phantom Knights of Breaksword, Trap Trick, and number C1000, Numeronius. Okay, Code Talker inverted. So yeah, Numeronius. He's at it again. Darkwing Blast, first edition. Will we get that Starlight rare? Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty excited for these mystery packs. Uh, Sassy Auto and his team, as well as me, have put in a lot of work, and it has been pretty cool so we're excited and hopefully you guys really like these that's a huge super rare that's a great card all right that, that used to be 20 bucks i think it's more like nine now but it's still really really good and goes from the past too let me know in the comments how you're feeling about them are you excited will you be picking some up and oh yeah i guess i should have said this at the beginning i guess i'll i'll, I'll just put it towards the beginning uh okay no ghost sure there all right purple pack let's see this is the lowest in pack so uh, not like Pharaoh's Servant, but there's like some really cool stuff as we saw like Eternity Code and stuff like that. We got a, ooh, Battles of Legend Armageddon. That's very cool. So these are very, very nice. Like these are probably the best ones you can get out of the purple pack. The other stuff is not this good, of course, but this one could have the 10K Dragon, which is also being given away in this, you know, in the gold pack. So let's see if we can get something. If we get a 10K Dragon, that would be absurd. Obedience, we got Goyo and uh, Glacial Beast, Blizzard Wolf. So nothing there. I think I remember, didn't somebody get one out of the last pack? I think somebody got a 10K Dragon. All right, here's our silver pack. So this is an example of what a silver pack will look like. So inside you're gonna have silver and then you're gonna have your bonus pack. So the silver could have, you know, a little bit better of a pack than the purple because it is one in five to get that one. Let's open this up. First, we'll see what our, what in the world our packs are. So we have lightning overdrive at the front. Maybe we could get that black rose. So first of all, black rose. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Rage of Raw. We got Crystal Revenge. We got Amazing Defenders. Mega Pack. That was actually a really good one because Mega Pack's actually a higher end pack. In terms of value, you get the Pot of Prosperity, Ghost Rare. This is pretty good because let's see, Amazing Defenders isn't like 
amazing but it's not bad so i put these like kind of in the middle because this has black earth potential and this one has like the pearly stuff and these are good so there's really not anything bad in this one that's pretty solid lightning overdrive it's all it's usually good if you don't get anything bad you know we're trying not to have like mini with like bad packs inside so we've like completely removed like we had code of the duelist originally we decided to take those out sun avalon we got dark eye we got bujin we got zexel it's a tri brigade very nice uh, so we're trying to keep like at least if it's bad like maybe something like uh i would call abyss rising a bad pack but at least it has like a higher end pole like a ghost rare there's also like the forbidden droplet so if you open it blaze cannon there's an ultra rare if you open it you can at least pull something like exciting so that's like kind of the goal and then lightning overdrive same thing with that because it's got a starlight black rose so it's like even though the set's not like really really good you can pull the black rose i don't even know what's happening there i'm just gonna do this we've got the tune harpy lady oh evil twin keys to kill okay all right, so yeah. Quick key skill is not bad. It's pretty decent. Funny enough, a lot of the sign cards that I sent out are Battles Legend Crystal Revenge because I had a bunch of those secret rares laying around. And I tried to pick some cool ones that you guys would like. Uh, Arm Protector, we have E Pearly Happiness starting it off with a super rare. So I, I signed like, well, which one was it? It was uh, a bunch of the Doodle Beasts. So you may remain, you'll probably get a Doodle Beast if you order. We got a lot of Doodle Beasts. We got a lot of, uh, oh, what were the other ones? I can't remember now. They're, they're, I tried to pick some cool monsters that you guys would like. Mutrooper Landing, we have a Flip Frozen, I Ruxin Special that just kept going. Double Ruxin special wow uh binary blader we've got a flow under ease oh gross flow under ease don't love those we got dark honest and uh oh a zs ascended sage pretty good card actually magic e mafia okay all right ghost from the past two will we be able to pull a ghost sure guys here we go will we be able to pull a ghost sure we have wookie warrior lady he's a wookie are we we should have done two from the back it's like star wars let's go we have wookies we have yazi ghost trick and okay the sacred waters all right nothing crazy there out of ghost in the past unfortunately but that's a, that's okay that means the packs that you guys get will be better all right silver pack what will we get earlier than the purple pack so we got some earlier packs let's see what we will get will it be epic it is an extreme victory pack first edition so we could get the tour guide out of here max c is also a secret rare keep that in mind so there's a couple of huge cards in here all right one i think it's three probably that's what i'm gonna do we have a karakuri resonant destruction Mechlord Emperor of Skiel, Red Dragon Vase, Lancer Linworm, Mechlord Army of Wazel, the Resolute Mechlord Army, Chaos Infinity, and a Mech Time Blast. So we are starting it off. Well, not really starting it off. We're just not pulling very well. That's honestly pretty good. We don't want to pull too crazy, you know, take out of the packs that you guys have. We'd rather them be in your packs. All right, the final one. This is a red, uh, you know, pack, an example of a red pack. So inside you would get, if you were to pull a red pack, you'd open it up and you'd be like, Oh wait, where's my pack? Where's my pack? Oh, it's red. We got the one in 10. Let's go. You know, that's what it would happen. Okay. All right. So inside this one, we got Battles of Chaos, which is a fantastic collector pack. King's Court's pretty good as well. Brothers of Legend, get that Dragoon. This one, eh, iffy. We've got a Ghost of the Past one and then Ancient O oh, 2021. So not as good, but 2022 is really good. 2021 is more iffy, but it does have a lot of nice reprints inside. Let's start off with the Synchro Storm, which does still have the Ghost Rare, does still have the Baron. So there's a couple big things in here that you can get. So that's what we're really looking for. Speedroid, got a super rare, very nice. And then a synchro, okay. 2021 Mega Pack. Let's see if we can get, what is it? Nobleman of Crossout, Triple Tactics Talents. Megatons, no matter how like not great they are for Megatons, are always still pretty good for the like meta reprints. They're pretty solid. That I double rucks and special there. Tri Brigade Fergie, I forget they put them in the front. So weird. Okay, that's a good secret rare. We've got a Ghost Meets Girl, Tri Brigade Karis, and then Rares. Okay, adding, that's actually a good common. Rookie for Hire, Lifeless Leaf Fish. Okay, not a bad Mega Pack 2021. Okay, Ghost from the Past 1. We could get a $600 Dark Magician out of here. Let's hope that you guys have some great pulls when you guys open these up. Let's go. Time Thief, Sunvine, Cypher, Splash Mage, Dragoonity Legatus. Legatus is actually pretty good, I think. It used to be three bucks. I think it's still around there. Bones of Legend, First Edition. I haven't opened this in a long time. Can we get... The Dragoon, here we go. We have Rank Up Magic. We have Ghidorla, very nice insect kaiju. We have Karibo, the alt art, and Altergeist, Fuji Alert. All right, so our pulls are not crazy right now, but that's okay. We're just showing off the packs inside. Hopefully you guys have better luck with the packs. King's Court, will we pull something crazy? I don't know if it's two from the back. I'm just gonna do it like this. I think it might be at the back in King's Court. We have the Warrior, Converging Wishes. Yeah, it seems like it's at the back. Unexpected Die, Constellar told me. Queen's Knight and oh, Chow Fang, Phantom of the Yang Zang. All right, super rare, nothing too crazy there. Let's end it off with Battles of Chaos. Let's pull that Dark Magician real quick for you guys. Let's see if we can get a Starlight. Same pack, could happen. It's definitely possible. We have Flower Dino, Sword Soul Strife, Ghost Trick or Treat, Mad Hacker, 
Leaf Place Place Place. We got the Soul Sweeper. Clear New World. Mabel Maiden. And a Libromancer Firestarter. All right, we're going into the final pack. It's a red pack, one in 10. Will we pull something crazy out of the Ruxin 2.0 mystery pack or will it be all left up to you guys? So inside here, I mean, you, we, you know, there's like, you know, hobby CRV and, oh, speaking of hobby CRV. Definitely is hobby, right? I don't actually know that. What is the hobby code? Okay, is this hobby? I can't remember if that's hobby or not, to be honest. I feel like it might be retail, actually. So maybe we have a mix. I don't know. All right, Cybernetic Revolution. Let's go. If it is retail, you can get the Bubble Mail. Bubble Mail. Bubble Mailer. We got Bubble Man Ultimate Rare. That's what we'd be looking for. Here we go. We have... The Ultra Ruxin Special. Right to the rare. On the last pack. Come on, Ruxin. You ruined it. Tadpole Pot of Generosity. Mad Lobster Tyrant. Wow, I ruined the last pack. But, they, you know, the Ultra Ruxin special has just become a new thing that we do all the time now. If you guys are interested in these packs, make sure to check out the link down below. They will be available right now as soon as you're watching this video. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean, thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Why can't I say it? Subscribe, subscribe. I can't do it.